Hi, my name's Darren Cranis, and I'm a technical manager here at the ECA. One of our most common questions to our helpline is, when do we need to notify the DNO? That's the local, local network operator. Welcome to Industry Focus. The latest updates from your ECA experts addressing key member concerns and industry issues. Well, there are many times when to notify the DNO, and one is for any load changes. So electric vehicles, EV, photovoltaic, so your PV panels, generators, any significant loads or changes, they all need notifying to the DNO. And that's a statutory requirement. And that really does help reinforce our energy for the future. So it's really important that our members inform the DNOs. If there are any faults on the network, so you may look at the condition of the network equipment and find it's faulty. And if there is significant faults, you should dial 105 straight away. Then the DNO can send an engineer out to rectify those. So upon fault, also notify the DNO. That's also really important. And one final thing, so a relatively sort of new discovery on our network is diverted neutral currents. So there's a lot of talk about diverted neutral currents at the moment, and that's when sort of currents are going where they shouldn't do. There might be a breakdown on the network, a breakdown in that joint on the road. So if you do suspect diverted neutral currents, that's high currents on the earthing system, then you can call the DNO 105, and we recommend you support that with a new form we have at the, e at the ECA with a new form we have at the ECA, downloadable to all our members, and it's a DNO, DNC, Diverted Neutral Current form, to help you record the details that the DNO require, and he can swiftly give those over the phone or via email. So to get hold of that new form we've got for reporting of neutral currents, please visit www.eca.co.uk forward slash technical.